welcome back to my channel. If you are looking for a super easy sweater looking farmhouse style pumpkin to put on a wreath or put on a tiered tray, or if you're just looking for that craft fair top seller, you won't want to miss this video today. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Okay, for this one, you're just going to take a pool noodle, and I got these at Dollar Tree, and you're going to cut them at one and a half inch lengths. And I'm going to do quite a few of them. You can get 31 pumpkins out of this one length, and it's two and a quarter inches in diameter. Next, I'm going to take the Yarn Bees Chunky Knit. Now, it's $19 for a roll, but you can get it on sale every other uh, week for like 30% off. You're going to cut a length of two and a half yards, and you're just going to run it through the middle and hold the tail as you continue to do this so it doesn't pull up through the center. And you're just going to keep going through the center and up through the top until you get it completely filled in. Now I am using a little hair braiding tool and I will give you the link for that on Amazon. And you get a lot of them in the package. So um, you got a couple sizes to use for different with different size yarns. You're just going to keep going up through the middle till you get it completely filled in. Now just make sure that you're going straight up as you're pulling it through. You don't want to pull it towards you, otherwise you will tear your noodle. So just keep going up through the top. And then on your um, when you come through the top, feel for the needle coming through the top because you want to make sure that it's not going through any other yarn, otherwise you're going to have a snag in that yarn it goes through. So just make sure you feel that the point is just by itself. And you're just going to keep filling it in and on your tension, just keep your tension the same all the way around. You don't want to pull it too tight and you don't want to pull it too loose. But you want to fill it in as much as you can. Now, in September, they will have the white pool noodles. So if you, if you don't want to use the orange ones, you can wait till then. But this one completely seals this in and you don't see any of that orange. Okay, and then when you start getting to the end, it gets a little bit tighter pulling it through. But just um, make sure that you use every bit of that two and a half yards. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and take that yarn and you're going to push it to the very center of the pumpkin and you're going to cut the bottom off, the bottom tail off, glue it down, and then you're going to do the same thing to the top. Just kind of glue it to the side. Don't glue it right down the middle or you won't get your stick through it. And then go ahead and take your stick and just find the hole and just kind of twist it in there. It goes in there real easy. Just kind of feather it out a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, attach some jute. I'm just going to take two long pieces of jute and I'm going to tie a ribbon around the front and I'm just going to tie it in a bow. These are super easy to make and they are a great craft fair favorite. So if you do craft fairs, these, these do really, really well. And then you're just going to glue a, a um, leaf right there on the top. Pretty much it. That was pretty super easy. Now I did do a couple more and I'm going to show you here in a second the other colors I used and I'm going to tell you what how much yardage I used on one of them that was a little bit different. Okay on this one I used the Yarn Bee Velvety Smooth Knit and I used it in the Adobe color. This is a little bit thinner than the other one so you're going to need to use three and a half yards to make one of these pumpkins and they make these in some amazing colors. Okay, and then I also use the green chunky knit in the muted sage, and you're going to use the same two and a half yards on this one that, like you did on the first one. These turned out so beautiful. I'd love for you to leave in the comments what color you like the best. If you like these kind of videos, be sure and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see future videos, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell if you want to be notified when I have another video upload. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.